Good morning, everybody. Captain Namco here. It is noon Eastern Daylight Time. So, for those of you guys who are watching over in Indiana or or, or Pennsylvania or whatever, uh, it's noon Eastern Daylight Time. So, let's do our first update on our Generation 3, shall we? But we are going to do a challenge, so. G10 Centrio versus Generation 3. It's going to be a toss-up of which one runs the best. Because they both run pretty strong. Um, anyway, let's get right into this. So, yesterday, my Generation 3 come in, got here about... 6 o'clock Eastern Daylight Time yesterday evening. So, it was about 5, yeah, it was a little after 5 o'clock my time. So, let's get right into it. So, when I've got it, I did a test run. No, the light did not work as you guys seen in the video. There was no light bulb in it. So, I did put an LED light bulb in it, which you guys have seen in that long 7 minute, seven minute video I did. And, it comes complete, this machine comes with all the attachments, which is all in that box right there, and also comes with a Kirby carpet shampooing system. Now, I got two tanks, one, uh, the knob is gone, so the second one is off of a Ultimate Generation Kirby, which will work for me, because it should fit that, but. So, it did also, it, it ran, runs rather well. So, I must say it did clean up, for, it does look pretty nice for its age. This machine will be 28 years old in October. It's hard to believe that 28 years ago the Generation 3 came out in, this Generation 3 came out in 91. The Generation 3 series is actually 29 years old because they introduced the Generation 3 Kirby in 1990, which is actually 28 years ago. Well, 29 years ago, excuse me. This machine will be 28 in October. So, let's do a little challenge. G10 Century versus Generation 3. Looks rather nice. I did, like I said, I put an LED light in it. Core is kind of discolored because it is used. It looks, it's been used or something. I'm not too worried about it because this machine runs really well. Sounds really nice. A uh, Max G10 Centria. Now, when you guys get these, they are not assembled. And I had to actually put the handle top on. Which I'll tell you how to do that here in just a second. Neutral, put it back in its parking place. Yes, it does squeak because it is old. You squeak too at 28 years old.
But anyhow, so let's get into the, the uh, part how you put the uh, handle on. So, to get the handle off, this top part here, you see that screw right there? This is what's holding your handle, this part of the handle, in place. Once you take that out, this part comes off. I'll be out in a minute! So. Let's run this in for you. Now, my aunt's carpet put a lot of stress on this machine. Um, I think because it's got an off-brand Kirby belt in there, I don't know. thumbs up go ahead comment down below subscribe for more updates on my uh, Kirby Generation 3 from 1991 and more updates on my Sentry and my other Kirby's if you want to stay um, active help me out by either pushing like or dislike because it does help out either way um, dislike basically does the same thing puts it puts the recommendation out for other users to see my videos but I'd rather see more positive feedback on my videos. So with that being said, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, everybody. Y'all take care.